Good morning, you guys. Today, I am so excited because we are doing a little bit of a different kind of video and we're gonna do a, a day in the life kind of follow me around vlog where I bring you guys along for the day. I just woke up, I'm literally still in bed. Um, I always wake up after my husband does. He's an early bird. So I'm gonna head downstairs and make some breakfast and get the day started. I just wanna give a big shout out to Sephora for partnering with me on today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and have some breakfast. <gasps> Hi! Whenever my husband gets up, so does Prince. So he's always waiting for me when I come out. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Princey. I am hungry this morning. I was up last night to like three o'clock in the morning editing, or actually like 3.30, I was editing today's video. So I'm getting up later than usual. So I am hungry. I'm eating breakfast a lot later than I normally do. So I'm gonna show you guys a really quick and easy breakfast that I love to make. Oh my goodness, that is a <laughs> prime example of my life. Okay, so you guys are probably like, Kelly, what the hell are you eating? But this is honestly so good. So it's overnight chia seed pudding, and I have this so often because it's easy. You just put the ingredients in here overnight. I'm just getting the peanut butter off the spoon. And then when you wake up in the morning, it's like a pudding. So that's the base that you guys can see here. It's basically just chia seeds with almond milk is how I do it, or you could use regular milk, coconut milk, whatever kind of liquid you want. And it makes like a pudding, like gel consistency overnight. And then I top it with some granola and some peanut butter. Like my favorite breakfast ever, and can be made in like two seconds. <laughs> love this and have it a lot. And I like to have a really big container of water. What I've been trying to do is drink a whole thing of water in the morning before I drink my coffee, which might seem crazy because I used to be the person like, I need my coffee immediately, like even before I eat my breakfast. This helps me to hydrate a lot more throughout the day because I could easily just sit here and drink like five cups of coffee and no water and then be so dehydrated and get, give myself like a headache. So drink the whole thing of water and then I have my coffee. Today is also an upload day, so I am just sitting here at my computer here, uploading to YouTube. By the time this vlog goes live, you guys will obviously have already seen the video. So that's typically what I do in the morning. I'll come downstairs, have my breakfast, and then work on whatever like you know is takes first priority of the day, which today is uploading or answering emails or whatever it is, and then get started on the day. Hello, you guys, gotta stay hydrated with my water. All right, um, I was getting ready for the day and I was like, wait, why am I not filming this? I should be filming myself getting ready because I'm doing a day in the life. But I figured I would show you guys um, the look that I'm gonna be doing today. I'm actually gonna be practicing a look for something that I wanna do for my friend's wedding. So I'm excited about that. I already did my base. You guys have seen me do it a billion times, obviously. I use Too Faced Born this way. You know, I love that, so nothing new. Um, a newer product, though, that I did use actually is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas, though. This is such a good primer. I held off for a long time on ever getting this because it is a little bit of a splurge. I want to say it was $52 at Sephora when I got it, but it's a very big primer. You get a lot of product um, in here. And I've been using it for the past couple of weeks since I got it and it smooths the skin like no other. It's so, so beautiful. So I have my base done. I'm going to do my eyes and I want to use the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I picked this up at the same time that I got the Tatcha Primer. I'm going to use it today to do an eye look um, to kind of practice my eye look. So I'm going to mix orange soda and burnt orange together and put that in my crease. One of my best friends is getting married this week, which I am so stinking excited and happy for her. They have been through the ringer with this wedding. I feel so horrible. I'm gonna go in now with Rustic and Cypress Umber. I'll mix a little bit of these two together. We're doing lots of mixeroos today. So their wedding was supposed to be last year um, in March, like days after the stay at home order was announced. And I remember like so vividly, like everything kind of going on. Cause like leading up the couple days before her wedding, they hadn't announced the stay at home order yet or anything. And there was so much like uncertainty back then. I feel like when I think about it now, it's so weird. Cause we just had, like had no idea like what the next year was gonna bring. Like we had heard of the virus and stuff. We were starting to hear more and more about it on the news, but like her wedding was still set to like go on, you know? And then the stay-at-home orders were announced and like basically everything in New Jersey shut down. And so obviously days before her wedding, it had to be canceled. And so I felt so horrible for her, but of course, you know, it's, it's circumstances out of anybody's control. And so she had rescheduled her wedding for June of last year, like in the summer, which also makes me laugh when I think about it because like these shadows are so pigmented, sorry, side note. I'm a scatterbrained person. <laughs> if you guys don't realize that in my regular beauty videos, 
but these shadows are like really, really pretty. But so she rescheduled her wedding for June because everyone thought like when this first happened, it was like the two weeks to slow the spread or whatever. So like genuinely <laughs> us believing that this was gonna be a two week thing, you know, and here we are a year later. But so anyways, obviously June came it wasn't safe to have her wedding, so she moved it again to this week, um, which is actually one year from when she was supposed to get married last year. I think like maybe a few days off, but very close to it. So I'm so excited that she can get married. I'm really happy for her, and we will all be wearing masks. So this bottom half of my face will probably have nothing on it. I'll probably do like foundation and set it with a powder, but that's really why I wanna focus on the eyes, because that's mostly what will be seen, obviously, because um, we of course wanna be safe. So I wanna do like a nice kind of smokier eye. So I'm gonna mix those two colors together again, put them on this and then just buff it on the lower lash line to kind of smoke it all out. But yeah, after we're done doing our makeup, I can show you guys my dress because that's another thing. I bought this dress. I have the same dress I was supposed to wear to her wedding last year because obviously I've had nowhere to wear it. And so now I'm like, wait, like does this dress even fit me? It's literally a year old. So I really hope so because it's, I mean, <laughs> I hope it does. Um, It's kind of like a flowy dress. So I think it will, thankfully. But yeah, I'm literally just wearing the same dress. So I obviously never got a chance to wear it. Then all over the lid, I'm going to just continue mixing colors together and I'm gonna do fairy and glistening together it has just been a crazy crazy time but excited to be able to get a little glammed up even if it's just for a little outdoor ceremony I can at least do a pretty makeup look you know <laughs> okay now I'm gonna jump in with the shade bronze I'm gonna use that with my finger and I'm gonna kind of put that on top this is actually pretty dark I'm like mm, should I do that I don't know let's see <laughs> This is why we're practicing, putting this towards the center. Oh yeah, okay, that's pretty. I'll do like a little bit of a gradient eye. So I'm gonna keep this in the center area and that kind of goes from light to medium to deeper out in the corner. Super pretty, I like this shade. Okay, I really, really like this palette. It's like beautiful. So I like this eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara now. I'm gonna use the Lancome Misor Big, which I love for like nice gold lashes. You guys can get this at Sephora as well. And I'm just gonna coat my lashes with this. I am gonna do some falsies, but I've really recently only been liking to do falsies on like the outer part of my eye, just like the outer corner. So having like a really nice mascara that really amps up my natural lashes is important. So this one is one of my faves. So just gonna coat my natural lashes and then we'll add on the little outer corner lashes. Okay, gonna jump in with the little corner lashes now. I also always get a lot of questions like, oh my God, what lash are you wearing? I literally just take any lash, like any lash that I've used or even a new one, it doesn't really matter. And I just like cut off the end and then I put it on the end. Um, and that's basically just how I make these little corner lashes. I just use any lash. And then just popping on the other side as well. Okay, I actually really like how this look came out. I think it looks really pretty. So I like that and I feel like it emphasizes my eyes, which is what I wanted. For the wedding ceremony, I'll probably just either do like no lipstick or a matte lipstick, like anything. But I really wanna try out these new Mario glosses. These are the Makeup by Mario Pro Volume Lip Glosses. So I have three of them. I have Rose Nude, Mauve Nude, and Golden Nude. They're all like really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna try these two, but one on my upper lip, one on my bottom, and kind of mix them together. I've heard really good things about these, and I like a lot of his products, so let me try them out. This is pretty. This one is the Mauve Nude. Very pretty. And then we have Rose Nude, which I'll put on my bottom lip. Ooh, this one I love. Oh my gosh, Rose Nude is where it's at. This one's really, really pretty. My husband just like texted me a picture. Our neighbor is moving, and he keeps putting out like the nicest things like out on the curb because today's trash day. And he's just like throwing them out. And he told us the other day, he was like, oh yeah, like take whatever you want. Cause like our other neighbor was taking something. This man is putting out like nice furniture and stuff and just like letting the garbage people take it away. I'm like, wait. So Steven just sent me a picture of these like nightstands are cute. Oh, hang on. He's calling me. Hello. Hello. Yes. <laughs> hey guys. You got a minute? Yeah. Hey, so I tried back home. Our neighbors put out a dresser. Actually it's two. Yeah. I saw the picture you sent. They look pretty nice. Should I go grab them in the truck or what? Yeah, they look, if, as long as they're like, yeah, they look like they're nice in the picture. And I feel like we can put them in the guest bedroom. We don't have anything in there. All right. I'll pick them up and uh, we'll see. All right. Love Maybe you. I don't feel like them, but all right. Love you. All right. Bye. Bye. So, I don't know. Maybe we're getting a dresser. They look, I thought they were nightstands in the picture, but we'll see. They don't look that big, but... Yeah, our neighbor has just been putting out like the nicest stuff. I'm like, are you sure you don't wanna like sell this on Facebook Marketplace? I feel like he's just like, I don't know, he's older and maybe he just doesn't care and just wants to get rid of the stuff because I know they've been moving for like a while now. So we will see about that. Oh my God, that is so much bigger than I thought. That's humongous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We were next to each other out there. I thought it was one piece, but... 
Yeah, they're two separate. Oh my God. Wow, well one man's trash, another man's treasure. Isn't that the saying? <laughs> this is my version of help. Just oh making sure he doesn't hit the walls. <laughs> <laughs> do you want, do you need me to actually like carry it? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, you cleared the corners. Prince does not like it. Not a fan. This is our house is always chaos like this, if yeah. you guys haven't already realized. This is literally so nice. And there's all the drawers and stuff. Looks about to work out. <laughs> okay, this is literally them. They're literally so nice. Like what the heck? There's nothing wrong with this at all. And like all the drawers, I open them, they're all like clean and everything. It's like crazy. So we just put them in our guest bedrooms. We don't really have that much furniture and stuff in here. So now there's this nice, this is like probably nicer than the dresser I have in my room. So thank you to our neighbor. That was really kind and really cute. All right, but now let's go try on our dress for the wedding and see if it still fits and looks cute. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I feel like this dress is probably getting dusty because it's been a year since I looked at it. So it has the tags and everything on it, but let's try her on. Okay, so this is the dress. I have like a little safety pin holding it together here. Um, so it's a little too open. I'm gonna get booby tape and like tape it more together so it's not as open in this section, but overall it'll do. I just need to get the, the tape and the safety pins or I'll just get like black safety pins. You can see the silver like glistening. All right, dress off, gym clothes on. I am about to go to the gym. Normally I take my makeup off before I go to the gym. It's like half and half. Some days I'm too lazy, I leave it on. Some days I don't. I normally regret it later if I leave my makeup on, but we're gonna roll with it today. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little snack that I like to eat before I work out. It's so good, or not even before I work out, just like whenever. Also scrunchy, I always forget that. I cannot tell you how many times I got to the gym that I have to work out with my hair down because I don't have a hair tie. I always forget things. And I literally have a drawer filled with scrunchies. So I think I'll do snake skin today. All right, let's go make our little quick little snack. Okay, so we go to the gym at night, but I don't like to eat like a full dinner before I go. So that's why I make this little snack. So I have my little bowl here. All we're gonna need is some cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna put add that to my bowl. They're like just these little tomatoes. You can cut them too. Like if you wanna get real fancy, you can just like cut them in half. <laughs> Me showing how to cut vegetables online, probably not a good idea. Then once you have those cut up, you can just add some fresh mozzarella, which I'm gonna add right now. I normally do like half mozzarella to tomatoes. So like, let's say I used 10 tomatoes and I would do five pieces of mozzarella. All right, so we have our mozzarella, we have our tomatoes. Now this next part is major key. This is what's gonna actually make this taste like really good fresh basil. So I keep a little fresh basil plant behind me. Let me get it. She's looking like she's on her last leg, but I've had her for like two weeks. Okay. This is like the only plant I can ever keep alive. Fresh basil. It's going to make it taste so, so good. So I'm going to take a couple of these leaves. You do want to wash these before you add them though. Okay. Once you have that in there, you can season to taste. I am just going to use some salt and pepper. I'm just going to crank some salt. Then this is garlic pepper. I'm just adding a little bit of that. And then last but not least, you want to add some sort of vinegar. Um, so normally I do red wine vinegar, but I don't have that today. So I'm going to use apple cider vinegar. Normally I prefer red wine, but this doesn't taste bad in a pinch. Just add a little bit, like a little drizzle on there. You can use olive oil too. I just don't use it because I don't really think it needs it with the cheese. And then this is what she should look like when she's all mixed up. Obviously, you know, not the best looking presentation, but I'm telling you 10 out of 10 on taste. Like I promise, try this. It's going to taste like a caprese salad, like at a restaurant. Mm, so good. And I love to just have this as a quick snack, like when I'm in a pinch. Delicious. And I'm always running late, AKA like right now. <laughs> so I need stuff that's fast and easy to make. So I'm gonna eat this and then um, head to the gym. But why I'm saying I'm running late is I think I wanna stop on the way to the gym. My gym's right by the mall and I think I wanna go to the mall and go to Sephora to try and get that new, the new like good apple foundation that everyone's been talking about. Apparently Sephora has it. So I'm gonna go in the store and try and get that so I can have it for like a review on um, my channel. Am I like a mukbanger? Is that how you say it? mukbang, mukbang, or now that I'm like eating on camera, I feel weird. <laughs> I'm like in that period right now because it's like late March that I'm like, spring is here, I should not have to wear a jacket. So I try and go out without one and then I go out and I'm freezing. So grabbing my jacket because I know I'm gonna need it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ugh. I always have to like hoist myself into my husband's truck. <laughs> Cause it's so tall. How much do you love me? Very much. Okay, well, we have to make a pit stop on the way to the gym. We're already running late. Where are we going? <laughs> Sephora! All right. Sorry, but gotta get the new foundation. Gotta do it. <laughs> get to a man that will bring you to Sephora willingly. Ready? Yes. Let's go.
Okay, well, unfortunately they did not have, I guess I can take my mask now that I'm outside, but unfortunately they did not have the foundation there, but I'll try back and hope to get it another day. Maybe I can try ordering it on their website, but now off to the gym. All right, I'm walking into the gym right now. We're not really supposed to film in here, so I probably won't be able to film my workout, but if I can get little clips of something, I will try and show you guys. All right, you guys, we just got back home from the gym. I didn't end up um, filming when we were there or anything, because again, you're not supposed to. There's like signs everywhere that says no filming, so I don't want to make anybody there uncomfortable. Ooh, lighting. Sorry with the weird shift in lighting. Um, I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable, so I didn't. Um, hi! So I didn't vlog. Oh, this is my favorite part of coming home. He's always so excited to see us. Say hi! No matter if we're gone for like 30 minutes or like two hours, he's always so excited. Hi! Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna jump in the shower now and wash my face. That's my biggest advice. If you are working out with makeup on, I found that my skin reacts a lot better if I like wash my face immediately and shower right as soon as I get home. Wash the face good in the shower. It seems to work pretty well, so I'm gonna just take off these lashes and this makeup and shower and go to sleep. I am tired. It's that time of the month for me and um, I'm feeling sleepy. <laughs> but I am very happy because tonight is not a hair wash night. The nights when I have to wash my hair, I dread it. Oh my gosh, it just adds so much time to like my routine, but I do not have to wash my hair tonight. I washed it yesterday, so she's still fresh enough so I can just body shower, wash my face. I've actually been using a new shampoo and conditioner. Well, not really new. I've had it for probably two months now. These are them. It's the Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. Well, number no. five is the conditioner and then number no. four is the shampoo. And these are so, so good. I really like them a lot, actually. I don't use them every wash I would say like every other or like every three washes I use these two together and they're really really nice because my hair can get very very dry where these two like combined have really really helped to give like nice nourishment so definitely been liking these and these are the ones that I actually used on my hair yesterday when I washed it so so I can link these down below um, as well as any other products that I mentioned in today's video they will all be linked down below in the description box you can get them all at Sephora um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I'm super tired. So I think I'm just gonna jump in the shower and then go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little day in the life sort of vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.